History is written by the victor to leave blank pages with a space for my picture. Coming up, I'm coming up. Uh, feel the rush, I feel the rush. If this ain't legendary, what you call it? I said, if this ain't legendary, what you call it? Jamal Holly, you're a freaking legend. Family, welcome to this very special episode of The Move. Social Equity Reloaded. Whoa, 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 whoa. Like, sub, share, speak. Let's go. Our favorite assemblyman rolled up on us last week and said we'd be pleased with the revamped social equity measures, and, well, he wasn't lying. We said the tax was too high. This bill would give New Jersey one of the lowest tax rates in the nation. We said regular citizens would still be going to jail. Well, they've vetted possession charges. We said the drug war drives poverty. They counter with social impact zones and specific licenses for those areas with targets on unemployment. Minority and veteran-owned businesses have caveats, micro-licensing to open up more opportunities, delivery services, and designated smoke spots. Guys, we went from having the Senate and Assembly ready to shove any old piece of legislation down our throats to legit and sensible recompense baked into the legislation. Now, nothing's passed, and no matter what is, it can never replace what we've lost. Time is the one thing that we don't get back. So many families ripped apart at the behest of this evil and vindictive drug war that's claimed millions of lives outright and billions by proxy. Alter the course for each and every one of us, one way or the other. And thanks to the tireless efforts of all involved, we might just be able to get our urban communities back on the right track using the same crowbar they beat us with. The work is still far from done. Word is that they're shooting for a vote next month. The bill is getting looked over. And yeah, votes were supposed to come this month, but this was well worth the wait. We've been at this for what feels like forever, from brainstorming with the DPA, to hitting the NAACP with the NJUMR, to just breaking it down to Assemblyman Holly at Irvington's Town Hall. We're on the cusp, family, and it feels damn good. Now, if we can only get Mayor Voss and the township to start bucking, I mean, damn, this baby really got rolling in and for your town, yet our leadership wants to ride Nork's coattails. It's so frustrating. While at the movie night, his driver kept saying, everybody eats, and I don't think that means what he thinks it means when the poverty rate is 23%, you dig? Then, I got told wanting to have a place that we can just send people to make a decent bit of coin was a fantasy. But you know what? I'm digressing. That's in, that's for the next video. Assemblyman Holly has been the Gordon to our Batman, the Michael Jordan to our James Naismith. I mean, screw Michael B. Jordan. This guy should replace Henry Cavill in the DCEU. I mean, we really can't thank him enough. Once again, homegrown fan, well, this was the only way. End of the day, it's about the money. Our government isn't moved by your plights. It doesn't care about your concerns. The only language they understand is mulanomics. They feel as if they are being courteous as is, and they want every dollar they can get. It's that simple. So, we have a lot of work to do. They'll be having hearings, plenty of scams out there just looking to grab a few bucks and pretend to know exactly what's happening and when. Look guys, if you're investing in current stocks, then beautiful, but when it comes to what takes place here in New Jersey, just wait until the law is passed before you give any of these organizers or insiders any money. Until the law is signed, nothing is guaranteed. Now, I have to punch up a script about a conversation with Mayor Voss. That's next. Thank you so much for putting up with me and fighting alongside us on this journey. We've started something. It's time to see it through. Like, sub, share, speak. Until the next one, love.